got, I think you'll always sort of say it's, it's, it's just sport, it's, that's all it is, but how has it been over the last few, you know, the last few days since the, the England game? How difficult a period has it been for you as coach? It's, look, it's, it's the emotion of sport is what we do it for. That's what it is. And then we've had a downer. We have, you know, it's been disappointing. We're disappointed. We're disappointed in the way we played. That's what we're disappointed with, and we've got to be honest with that. And so I think if you start with the honest point, you can only go up. Um, but it's the reality of life. It's the reality of sport. There's sometimes you don't perform the way you want to, get disappointed by it, but it's acknowledging that and seeing if you can take a few strides forward, and that's our intention. I think uh, if we keep changing our minds, we'll never get the result we want or need. We all want the same thing. I'm a coach in Scotland because I want a successful Scottish team. That's what I want. They can compete in everything. That's what we all want. Um, and we're striving for it. Um, and at the moment, we're not getting that. There's glimpses, and I keep saying, and I spoke about it before the Six Nations, there's glimpses in this side. We need consistency of performance. We do. Um, but I don't want to change the direction. I want to take the nation because uh, we haven't had long-term success as a nation. We've got to be honest with that. But we have the ability to do that if we acknowledge where we are. And we've got some good, talented young players in this group, and we have. And good, talented young players that can um, certainly lift and fight with the best of them. And uh, I have a genuine belief that uh, we've got the goods in this team to do deeds now, to do some good, really good deeds in the future. The problem with rugby is everybody's a selector, um, fans, coaches, players, ex-players, everybody, journalists. So th there are a few selections for, for this game that people have looked at and thought, why, why was that? So, for instance, David Denton, um, Johnny Beatty comes in at number eight and David Denton drops to, to the bench. What was the, the reasoning behind that, Scott? It was really simple with Dents. Dents, everyone sees the obvious with Dents. He's a big ball-carrying player. He, he is. And uh, we like that about him. We want to add a few things to that too. We're not getting the tempo off the runs that we want. It looks good and we need to... He's getting tagged team a little bit into contact and slowing up possession. And also, we want the same ethic off Dave when he hasn't got the ball. As a back row forward, it's a, it's a high work rate job as well as an explosive job. And we're trying to balance that up um, with him. That uh, back row spot is competitive and it has high demands and it's with and without the ball. So we're trying to extend him so we get the benefit of the all-round dents as well. The, the reason for, for Kelly's admission for the team? Look, it was a difficult one for me from a personal level because I have a massive regard for Kelly Brown. There's no doubt about it. Um, part, of, part of getting your selection right is trying to work out what you need in the team. We're, not, we're having trouble getting first phase possession at the moment. Uh, our set piece, we acknowledge, hasn't been the best. Um, and we're also not getting the scavenging around the pitch. We're not getting the turnover ball that we want. We want. Our 6-8 is a pretty competitive place to play rugby at the moment. I like ball carrying 6 and 8s with a good ethic. I like them. I think they add to the game. I think they're nearly like centres in the modern game that need to be an attacking threat as well as a physical presence. The seven is where they haven't got the depth that we have in other positions. We haven't got that. Um, Kelly, I always felt his natural instincts to the game suited a seven, and especially the modern game. He's got a, he's a high work rate. He has. He's got a big heart. All the all those boxes we really like. Um, where we've asked him, and we've been honest with him, is that we, we want to see the angles and the lines running like a seven now. And if he gets more aggressive with the lines, that puts him in a position to steal a lot of ball and or at least compete for that possession, slows them up, gives us turnover ball to play off. Kelly Brown's international career is not finished. It may be just starting in a different position and getting it right. And uh, we felt that with Chris, whose uh, regional form has improved since the autumn, we didn't get a chance to have a look at him in the, the autumn because we wanted to see how the others stood up there. But his regional form's been really good and we're hoping um, that uh, by having a type of player like Chris and he performs as well as we want him to, maybe we get a different possession source as well.